I am live, and you are live, and it is live. <clears throat> However, StreamYard, the program that I use, does not automatically connect my microphone when I plug it in. So I have to go to camera mic, and then audio, and then get off the default by going to the USB advanced device, and now I'm on it, and you can hear me much better. So there you go. So welcome. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. I'm Jeffrey Gittimer, and this is the 959 Report. Isn't it cool? We're <clears throat> well into the 300s now, straight days. This morning is probably as impactful a message as I possibly can, can deliver to you because it is the most misunderstood word in the entire world of sales. And the word is value. Everybody has what they think is a value proposition. And it is pretty much bullshit. And then they'll say things, well, that's a value add or that's an added value. Also bullshit. I believe that value is something that has to precede the conversation. If you perceive me as valuable, then you'll be attracted to me. And if you don't, you won't. It's not a pitch, it's attraction. And the key word to value is perceived value. If you think it's valuable, and I don't think it's valuable, it ain't valuable. I have to perceive that it's valuable. Well, this is our value prop. I don't give a shit what it is. But it doesn't affect me. It's not in favor of me. So I want you to go back and revise all of the things that you think are valuable and decide in terms of a customer. Maybe call a customer up and say, hey, what do you think is most valuable about us or doing business with us or why, why are you involved with us? That's the deal. And so the value that you have and the value that you're able to convey has to be perceived by the other person as valuable or stop doing it. Your marketing department put together your value prop. Seriously, have those people ever made a sale? Ever? What is a value prop? If it has the word we in it, there's no value to it. It has to be all about the customer and how they win after they take ownership. That's value. I don't want to buy a car. I want to drive a car. Oh, well, there you go. That's an easy metaphor for you to understand, isn't it? Do you think the restaurateur wants to buy lettuce or sell salad? Oh. Well, there you darn go. So I'm looking at this from the perspective of how do you view what you really want to have happen with that customer in terms of an interaction? How do you want them to respond to you? What do you want them to think? What do you want them to say? What do you want them to do? I can't give you a more powerful message than that. I just cannot. I can replicate it. I can come close. But value is the magic sauce, the secret recipe, the silver bullet of sales because value creates genuine attraction. And attraction is the key. Do you want a cold call or attract? You tell me. Well, I'm really cold calling. Oh, bullshit. Nobody likes cold calling. It's the biggest pain in the ass on the planet. And people teach it and they're my friends and I, I respect them, you know, go, go, but I'm not going to do it. Average person does not want to be rejected 99 out of 100 times. That's all I'm saying. And we're going to get into this today because I can see the great Doug Wing is here already. And his company was founded on the basis of quality and value. And notice what's not in here. Price. You know why? Because a little giant price don't mean anything. I don't want price. I want best. I can get something cheap, dirt cheap. No, I want best. Thank you. 
Be prepared and you can handle anything. Harvey McKay, yeah, totally true. Do you know that people are afraid to give speeches because they're unprepared? That's the secret. Of, I've given thousands of speeches, never went in one unprepared. And as a result, never nervous. Is that cool? Jen gave it to me. Morning, morning, Beck. We must be before we can do, and we can only, and we can do only <clears throat> to the extent of which we are. <clears throat> oh my God. From the master key system, I'll try that. Let's see what that is. I have a, a I'm going to write the be, do, have book, the ultimate do, have book, <clears throat> hopefully soon. Um, you never know. Um, but I'm sending this to myself back to see who this guy is. Because I don't know him. And I hate to admit I don't know him, but I don't know him. And we'll see what happens. I'll see what I can find of his that's first edition or signed or whatever. Keeping the theme of Jeffrey's Go Live, I started listening to Virtual Selling by Jeb Blunt. Very reassuring voice started on Audible. Jeffrey, get him a reading. <laughs> He's a forward, exactly, for his friend. Yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. That, that's actually, that's way cool. I, I love Jeb Blunt. He's a great guy. And he's a, a winner. He's a hardworking, thought-provoking winner, period. Uh, I'm so glad I got to do the forward. He asked me to do the forward. He goes, I don't really think I can ask anybody else to do the forward for this. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it. And I have to tell you, I did not charge him for it, and I... Usually never write a forward without a fee, but he's a friend. What do you do for your friends? Ah, good morning, 959ers. Sweden today, minus 10 degrees Celsius. Oh, my God. Snow and clear blue sky. That's beautiful. That's freezing ass cold, too. That's way, way, way cold. I'm just saying. But just good morning. And all the people that are here sharing it, thank you. Irving is here. <clears throat> you know, Rich, I'm an Iron Man, but you're a video man. Why don't you tell everybody how many how many hippo videos you've made up to this point in time? Come on, the great Rich Villar. Come on, talk about it. Howdy from hell. Temptation will come to try your strength. And once you yielded to... The power to resist grows weaker and weaker. Yet once, and a portion of once that uh, and a portion of virtue is gone, resist. And the first decision will give you strength of, for life. Repeated, it will become a habit. Samuel smiles. Brilliant, Joachim, as usual. Isn't Samuel smiles unbelievable? Aren't you inspired to go get a couple of his books? Self help, character. There's a couple of others. One is called Duty. Oh, it escapes me at the moment, but I'll maybe smile. I can't remember. Duty for sure. Good morning from Boulder, Colorado. Good morning. Happy hump day. Good morning. Exactly. Good vibes. Exactly. And... This is a, this is, you know, I gave you a shot this morning on value. If you're just tuning in, go back and listen to the first five minutes, please, please. I'm unlocking the secrets. I'm going to, I will dwell on it a little bit more. I'm going to give you uh, several elements of the value program, but this week is going to be full of stuff that will help you as a person and look forward to free show. Tell people to come on there uh, because I'm going to talk about coaching because everyone needs it. You'll see. It's pretty cool. I tried to be first on. I think I was third. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. You'll get on one time. You got to sneak on. Go in through YouTube. Facebook is tough to be in first. Toronto, boom. Anderson, boom. Memphis, boom. Felipe, 
Mexico. Oh, Brazil. He's from Brazil. Oh, nice to see you. <clears throat> Early people from Los Angeles. And of course, Taru is here. Wouldn't be a day without his flag. Would not be a day without the flag with the sun. Japanese flag. Hmm. Yep. I Googled perceived value and Jeffrey Gittimer popped up. Boom. Can it be any better than that? No, it can't be any better than that. Thank you, Tim. Gonna... That's the whole key right there. Sending that to myself and you can't stop me. Uh, bump. Bump. That's a good one. Thank you for that, Tim, Tim, Tim. And uh, give value first. That is correct, sir. Tall Tom, customer testimonials on Google, Facebook, improve your value. It's helped me tremendously. When people Google insurance, Gainesville, Virginia, and they, they find out quickly what my value is, I concur. And Tom, you are very valuable, not just to your customers, but also to your family. Good family guy. Good morning to all watching. Good morning from the Philippines. Coachman, good morning. Everybody saying good morning to everybody else. Price is here from New York City. Now we're talking, see, when New York joins, they're all here. Everybody's fine. This is so good. Coachman, you're consistent, and I love it. Exactly. It's great stuff. Thanks. Another great gift this morning. Thank you for your insights. It's my pleasure. You got to get on early to get them right away. It's not about your product or service. It's about what others can do because your product or service exists. Lewis, you're correct. Past gem from JG. Here are three primary elements that create a buy. How you engage me, how I perceive the difference between you and others, and how my perceived value of doing business with you relates to me. This is boom. This is ultimate boom. Sherry, thank you very kindly for this because this is the this is exactly what I was talking about. I'm going to send, I'm, I'm doing a seminar tomorrow. No, Friday in Great Britain, virtual seminar. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to use my own stuff on me. <laughs> thank you for this. <clears throat> how you engage me, how I perceive the difference between you and others, and how my perceived value of doing business with me, doing business with you relates to me. Boom. <laughs> that is the winning combo. The ultimate winning combo. And Sherry, thank you so much. And Georgia has checked in the house. Mount Pleasant has checked in the house. One you know, once you know what failure feels like, determination chases success. Yep. Ah. You know what? I'm very, very blessed that you got it, Stuart. And we're gonna meet. We're we're in right now. Uh we're in right now. We're in right now, right this very minute. We're in Wild Dunes where it's raining like hell. But come on, let's meet up. I'm, I'm going to set up a meeting for guys in the Mount Pleasant, Charleston area to show up over at the ice cream place over at uh, the Target Shopping Center. Boom. Maybe we'll do TCBY. It seems a little more civilized over in the uh, Barnes & Noble Center. We'll see. Kind of like that Target Center, though. Uh, but I'm saving this because I want to get together with some of you guys live. And let's talk about how I send this to my publisher guy. See if he's up there. Yep, he's right there. Sending it. Thanks, Zach. Thank you very much, Stuart. Give, and it shall be given. You know, the Bible always kind of sneaks in there, isn't it? It's unbelievable to me. Unbelievable to me. Now, let's talk about Wim for just a second. Here's a guy, family business guy, sold, his dad had the vision of selling 
quality ladders, not ladders at a price. Ladders at a price, people fall off of them. They're cheap. They break. Little giant ladders? No, no. And the companies that buy them, buy them for safety as well as utility. That's the key. Quality, safety, productivity, value. Wing, can't be any better than that, bud. I'm saving this for me and you. Because as we complete the Life of Hal Wing book, this is going to be a major contributing factor in the training program that we put together for it. That's the whole key. That is the whole key. <clears throat> And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about my friendship with the great Doug Wing. No. Ah, William, what's up with you, bud? You've taught me well to always think of perceived value. It's a second habit of my daily transactions. Boom. My pleasure, William. My damn pleasure. Isn't that cool? Shared. Thank you, Eddie. Martha. Hello from Des Moines, Iowa to you too, sweetie pie. I hope all is well in Des Moines where it's freezing and cold. I know that for a fact. People do not buy grass seed. They buy a lawn. That's ex exactly correct. That is exactly correct. This is this is actually so good. I'm gonna change I'm gonna change the metaphor just slightly, Sherry. You have it exactly kind of right. Let me share with you what it is. People do not buy grass seed. They want to grow a lawn. And that's the outcome. The lawn is the outcome. And there you go. And thank you very much for your insight. Sherry posts valuable things to me, which is, it's a gift. And thank you for doing that. Morning 959ers from British Columbia. It's about time you checked in. <laughs> I love this. I totally love this. So value this morning. What, what do, do you get the value message? Huh? Exactly. Wayne, good morning. Master man, good morning. Kelly. My pleasure. Thank you for I talked to Bruce Kelly. He's great guy. I mean, great guy. Attract. Exactly. Mary, go. Iron sharpens iron. So one man sharpens another. Proverbs. Wow. So good. So, so good. Sneedo, when you feel better about your money, you feel better about your life. Sneed, I agree. I agree. Email signature service consultant. Oh, cool. All right, cool. What do we got going on here? Good morning, Jeffrey. It's not hard to sell. It's not hard sell. It's hard sell. Yes, exactly. Good question to get to the heart of the problem. Need situation quickly without the customer feel like he's being or she is being pushed. Little Red, the Little Red book is, I mean, it's my legacy. I'm, I'll be in a coffin someplace and somebody's going to chuck in my Little Red book. Please, please. That's the one book that has brought me Untold. I, I can't even begin to show gratefulness for that book. But keep in mind, it took me two years to write. Once I had the idea from, from Ray Bard, it took me two years to write the book. And But the knowledge, the wisdom that it went into that book took me 30 years. Just be careful about how you perceive the book. And... I want to make sure that people like Renee who go out and look for that wisdom and find it, that they can use it. You have to be able to use it. And what are the questions that you're creating? We'll, we'll do a morning on questions because I think it's just so important um, about what questions you're asking. I remember yesterday, two days ago, I can't remember, um, I asked, where did you grow up? That's a big question. <laughs> hmm. 
Mark Twain, funny bastard. I'm just a funny guy. You can succeed in life only as you succeed in a race by passing others. Wow. Isn't this cool? You can succeed most easily while the other man is sleeping in the hammock, drowsing, floating on his back, getting nowhere, not realizing that he is far from the shore of independence. This is, Jason, when you start quoting truthful living, I don't understand why everybody in the 959 is not a quoter of Napoleon Hill's truthful living. It is gem after gem after gem. I put enough full page quotes in there. I've got all kinds of program. I have to put together the course for this because it's the only way that people will really understand the whole deal. Lewis, good morning. Asking and listening increases your perceived value. I agree. You have to say a damn word. Just ask the right questions and people think you're smart as hell. Smart as hell. Unreal. <laughs> Sneed gets a shout out. I love this. I, I totally love this. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, now. Sabra. Colder, Colorado. Thank you so much for the clubhouse information. Good stuff. Good. Good. My pleasure. And the great Justin Benton. You know, this shirt... If you have not read Atlas Shrugged, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. But Reardon Steel and the fact that it's in Philadelphia gave me added incentive to continue to wear the shirt, a gift from the great Justin Benton that I totally appreciate. Not just the gift, him and his friendship. So there you go, Justin. Glad to see you. Listen to understand. Exactly. Exactly. Exact fits. What's up with you, Bob? Do your homework. Understand the demands on the decision maker you want to work with. Exactly. I mean, exactly. And Alonso, how are you doing, bud? How's your voice doing? I help my clients get from where they are to where they want to be financially. Keith, boom. Nice talking to you. Very nice talking to you. I talked to a few people, you know. Your world is a living expression of how you're using, have used your mind, Earl Nightingale. Yep. Yep. Isn't it wonderful to go back to this old wound and realize what's there for you to pluck? It's, it's unreal. It's unreal. Ingrid, I want to you, my dear, and Facebook user from Venice, Florida, Great coffee mug. We each became something. Exactly. Well, actually, we'll talk about this on one of the lives also. Everybody has a zone of genius, and you have to discover what yours is. But that's only a third of it. Be findable by your zone of genius, and then be known for your zone of genius. Those are the three elements that are there. In 1919, Napoleon Hill wrote... <clears throat> Charles and now a letter thanking him for his mastery key system. Oh, that's where the master key. Cool. That's cool. Thank you. Love lessons. I, I can't get enough lessons. Sending this to me because I want to know. I wonder if I downloaded that book and just never read it. I have the master key system. And it is pretty interesting, the whole process. Yeah, Toru gets good mornings. Isn't this great? If I'm correct, isn't next week sales caffeine number 1,000? Exactly, it is. Sales caffeine, 1,000 weekly email messages out to hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, millions of people have been reached. Literally millions. <sighs> And the great, I have to give a shout out to Lee Elmore. She's the producer every week of that email magazine. And she's just the best we've ever had. She's just wonderful. Yep. Yep. Help folks with Medicare. Yeah. Okay. I, I can do it. Fellow Philly boy. Jim. Fellow Philly boy. Isn't that? See, automatically, there's a reference. When someone says your hometown, you're thinking of all kinds of stuff. 
the bus you took into the city, the hamburger that was 99 cents, king of pizza, Pat's and Gino's, Rick, the grandson of Pat, Jim's on South Street, Reading Terminal, Amish, cinnamon buns, pickles, Tommy Denix, best sandwich in the world, and Schmidt, there you go, and all the other guys from Philly, you got to, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean exactly what I'm talking about. Oakville, Ontario. Boom. My first live video with Tony Robbins. Ooh. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Send a hippo video to Oakmont Country Club detailing how they win by inviting us in. My 1,004th hippo. Oh, my God. See, that's it right there. Yeah, this is cool. And so far, it's working. I'm going to send this to the guys at Hippo to make sure they understand the value of their own product. Isn't that interesting? Some people don't understand the value of their own product. Boom. Sent. They'll get it. Thank you. Montreal, minus Celsius. Good morning, Laurie. How are you? Alonso, what do you have to say? Every human being has within him <clears throat> an ideal man, just as every piece of marble contains in a rough state a statue as beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful statement. Gary, how are you? How do I teach, communicate better our ideal prospect that we desire? You go and post valuable messages in the places where they hang out. They'll find your messages and desire to attract to you. Reading is to the mind, what exercises to the body and prayers to the soul. Whoa. We become the books we read. You know how interesting that is? Yesterday, I'm giving a master class to my high school. Uh, all of the alumni, Haddonfield Memorial High School, on how to write a book. And I talked to the to the principal there, and I was able to relate that Haddonfield High School, to me, is just like Catcher in the Rye. Isn't that amazing? I identify with Holden Caulfield for years, same way many of you did. Mary, this is not well said. This is brilliant. It's just brilliant. And I guarantee you that Charles Coachman will be using this regularly. Is that correct, Charles? Huh? This is really well done, Mary, and well thought out, and thank you very much. Yes, it is. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, cool. I love it. Brazil is a great place, by the way. It's a beautiful country and beautiful people. Prior Lake, Minnesota. Dave, dude, how's that ice fishing doing? Hungry hit in. Whoa. Do you know, most people don't know, but Pest is two different cities, Buda and Pest. And do you know that most people have never had real Hungarian goulash? It's to die for. And it's such a beautiful city. Budapest is um, like Paris, literally. It's The architecture is absolutely unbelievable. Hey, gang, if you Google JG Hermpress, share the link. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Thank you, Sherry. Thank you very much. When I started selling after being an engineer and switching careers, I hated, whoa. But after my first sale, my confidence grew. Exactly. And here I am 30 years later at the same dealership doing what I now love. That's it. Loyalty and dedication to success. Yeah, oh, my God. You know what? I have to tell you, Sneed. Pretty cool. Gregory Sneed, good guy. Just a good guy. I can't wait to have a hamburger with him somewhere in the world. And it's before the, while well, they're still selling hamburgers because I think they're going to be outlawed somewhere. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> Doug Wayne, come on. In my time working with Doug Wayne, I never saw him as a salesman. 
He wasn't trying to sell me something. He listened to what I needed. Isn't that cool? Look at this. And then provided solutions tailored to those needs. Those solutions saved us millions of dollars in increased productivity and less injuries. Boom. <clears throat> Can you guys get a testimonial like that one? Dude. Wing, this is it. This is phenomenal, by the way. <clears throat> but I'll tell you, and... I'm sure Doug Wing is aware of this, but I want him to be totally aware of it. Um, he does not sell from his mind. He sells from his heart. And so the messages that he's conveying to people are heartfelt. And that's where you have to be. He didn't want to sell. He just wanted to talk about how great the product is. And he did. And it worked to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars, literally, literally, literally. And I think you have to look at this as a statement. This Somebody else made this statement about Doug. Is that cool or what? Come on, everybody. Can you get that statement about you? I don't know. A cloudy day at the beach is a day at the beach. I totally agree. All right, I got to go. That, that quote posted was by Matthew Kelly in Hal Elrod's book. Oh, cool. Cool. I love Hal Elrod. We're friends. We've been friends for a long, long time. Long, long, probably 25 years. He's just a good person. Thanks, Mary. Thank you for posting it. Jeffrey Gittimer, personal OSC, offensive sales coordinator. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. Oh. You know, as a sports fan... You can easily see the metaphor there <clears throat> because not only do I play offense, sometimes I'm offensive, but I'm pleasantly offensive. I have the T-shirt that says pleasantly offensive. And I think that's probably the best way to be. I don't mind telling people how I feel about something if I believe in it. That's cool. Thank you, Mark. Where really my... Mom, family, same. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Now you're talking. And Riley, what's up with you? Thoughts are far more potent than perhaps you've ever known. Check every thought. Boom. Metaphysician. Whoa. Mary, nice to see you. Hope you're well. Cheers from San Diego. Everybody wants to be a successful person, but not everyone is really ready to work hard. I totally agree with that. And if they only knew that was part of the formula, they would do it. Greetings from Italy. Can you please create videos for step-by-step -step for professionals on how to create sales scripts from scratch? I would love to interview you for my TV show. Sure, it's totally possible. All you have to do is email jeffrey at gittimer.com. J-E-F-F-R-E-Y at G-I-T-O-M-E-R.com. And maybe include Jennifer, Jennifer at Gittimer.com, and we will be on your show with pleasure. And the great Jamie Green is here. What a woman. What a what a accomplished, amazing woman. Student, mom, salesperson, and brilliant person. Just a great person to be friends with. That's it. Um <clears throat> All right, so you guys, I got to fly. I'm going to, um, I, I really got to fly. But I'm going to put Doug Wing, I don't know whether I can find the damn thing or not. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to end with this. I'm going to put this up for till tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got a couple of really cool things coming this week. So tell both your friends, stay tuned. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my customer. Short show on Friday, but it will be very, very impactful.